what's going on YouTube this is Necro Steve Owen it's time for the final week of the Pokemon Premier League here with the Eternal City Enders this is week 12 we're going to be going up against the Osaka Eevees who of course are coached by Shadow uh, if you haven't checked out his channel you can find all of his details for his Twitter and channel in the description and um, he's actually having some Wi-Fi problems so this is going to be more of a live narrated and um, kind of just getting my thoughts out there for the final battle of the PPL regular season here before playoffs. A win here basically keeps us out of relegation to Division 2, which would be really, really nice. Um, he has had uh, a very, overall, this is a much more bulky team than what we've seen, and it's so painful for the Eternity City Enders with our mascot being Venusaur to go up against Mega Venusaur. Uh, but that will not stop us, of course, from doing our best. Now you can see his team here, Mega Venusaur, Arcanine, Mesprit, Crocodile, Jellicent, Klefki, Crobat, and Haxorus. Uh, he's very clearly going for the Grass, Water, Fire core, and at the same time going for the Fairy, uh, Steel, Dragon type core that you also see. He also just barely misses out on the Psychic, um, Dark Fighting core, because he doesn't have a Fighting type, which I'm very relieved to see. But you can see he only has 2 million left here, and he only has 18 members to choose from. It is very likely that we're just going to see Mega Venusaur, Arcanine, Crocodile, Jellicent, and Klefki, and then one of these two. I don't think we're going to see Crobat and Haxorus. And I don't think we have a very easy battle ahead of us. Um, his team is so bulky between Mega Venusaur, Arcanine, Mesprit, Jellicent, Klefki. It's just going to be a pain. Uh, breaking through all that bulk is going to be kind of just I've decided my overall strategy here is just going to be throwing as much physical pressure as I can up against him um, and so we're gonna go over to showdown here and see the team that I decided on now this is the overall team that we decided on here La Punny, Garchomp, Forges, Tyranitar, Stoutland, and Reuniclus and just to uh, I gave La Punny max speed and max attack there just in case he wants to do anything weird with Scarf um, I don't want to play around with Klefki's ability to paralyze me after I knock something out. So where I can, putting up a substitute before going for a power-up punch or focus punch is going to make things a lot easier for Law Punny. Um, after plus one, it have a, I have a chance to 2-hit KO Venusaur. Um, I can 2-hit KO Klefki if my substitute is up. And if I do get paralyzed, I do have floor just with arom Aromatherapy. Um, I also decided to go with Garchomp with a Life Orb with Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Flyer Blast, and Swords Dance. Klefki can, of course, use Magnet Rise to dodge the very obvious Earthquake. And I can't just switch um, Garchomp in on Klefki because it could use Play Rough or Foul Play, and that would do a lot of damage to Garchomp. So that would kind of be more of a revenge kill scenario. If I get if I manage to get rid of his Klefki, then we're in a position where um, Garchomp can kind of sweep through his team somewhat. I went with equal investment on special attack and on attack. Um, I needed some investment to make sure that I can always 2 a KO Klefki. And then I also wanted to hurt things for switching in on Fire Blast if they predict the Fire Blast. Uh, and then hopefully I can get up some Swords Dances in there somewhere. Vorgis is going to be on Cleric Duty once again. Uh, I brought Psychic just for Venusaur because between Psychic and Moonblast I can hit everything but Klefki. And Klefki can't do much to Forges besides set up spikes against it. Um, Flash Cannon's not fun to take, but I threw a little bit of Special Defense in there as well just to make sure that I can take those Flash Cannons a little bit better. Uh, just enough defense to take most hits from his team if he decides to bring Bandit Arcanine or something like that. And I can take those hits too. And speaking of Choice Band, I actually swapped the Choice Band between Tyranitar and Stalin. This week we have Bandit Tyranitar with Stone Edge, Earthquake, Crunch, and Brick Break. I decided to go with a Bandit Tyranitar over a mixed one just because of how bulky his team is. Mix seems like it really failed to get the, the damage off that I really needed it to. And the only Pokemon on his team that can restore their HP are Mega Venusaur, Arcanine, which of course the Morning Sun will be hampered by Sandstorm, um, Jellicent can use Recover, and Crobat can use Roost. So if I can just hit him strong enough on any side of the spectrum, I can overwhelm his ability to take hits. Now I did put enough speed on Tyranitar just to outrun um, Mega Venusaur if he decides to run uh, 
just because Mega Venusaur's speed is at 80, while Tyranitar is a bit lower at base 61. So if he doesn't run any speed investment, and even if he runs two or three points of speed, I put enough in there just to speed creep that. And that'll also help me um, outspeed some of these walls here if he tries to put some speed on, say, Mesprit or Jellicent. Or even better, if he doesn't put any speed on them, then I can outspeed them and hit them too. Uh, Tyranitar is really nice because Crunch hits his entire team neutrally or super effectively, except for two members, which I really, really like. So Crunch is going to be our overall method of attack for the most part. Um, I really don't like locking into Stone Edge. The only reason I would go for Stone Edge is if Mega Venusaur is in and it's um, around 50% or lower, then I can one hit KO with the Bandit Stone Edge. That is the only reason that I will be going for Stone Edge because that move misses for me constantly. Uh, I would put Rock Slide on here, but there is no investment in which I can two hit KO Mega Venusaur with Rock Slide. So there's not a lot of point to that. On Stoutland, I have Retaliate, Return, Crunch, and Superpower with the Life Orb. Once Clef Key goes down, if the sand is up, um, then I have kind of a field day with this team with those attacks. Uh, I did not want to be locked into Choice Ban with Retaliate. Retaliate hurts the majority of his team really, really badly. And since Mega Venusaur and Arcanine account for the majority of his KOs, I can um, bring in my Stoutland after Mega Venusaur or Arcanine KO something at the sands up and hurt something pretty badly with Retaliate. Unfortunately, I can't go for Retaliate if Jellicent is around, so that's why Crunch is here. And I have just enough speed to make sure that I can outspeed a plus one Haxorus if he decides to use Dragon Dance or a Scarf. Um, and of course, I naturally outspeed the Crobat, and that's going to be just about the fastest thing that he has on his team anyway. And then finally, another Life Orb on Reuniclus. We have a Trick Room Reuniclus. This is kind of a, um, a last resort of sorts. Not the move last resort, I just want to have a safety net. Uh, Psysoc, Focus Blast, and Shadow Ball hit his entire team for neutral or super effective. And with Life Orb and Max Special Attack, I can one hit KO a lot of his team too. The downside is I had to sacrifice my defensive investment, but since he has so many bulky members, that may not actually matter. Um, and if I'm able to bring in my Runiclus on, say, Jellicent, then it'll be relatively easy to get up a, a Trick Room. I could also bring it in on Mesprit, and to a lesser extent, I could bring it in on Mega Venusaur. Um, I don't really want to take those strong neutral hits from Crobat or Haxorus, and Klefki kind of sees my um, Reuniclus as an opportunity to set up spikes. I definitely expect him to be hazard stacking somewhat because he can use Stealth Rock with two of his members here, Mesprit and Crocodile, and then Klefki can use spikes. His only way to get rid of hazards is Crobat, so I'm not even going to bother with him because I don't really have any room for Stealth Rock. And um, Mega Venusaur, of course, absorbs Toxic Spikes. So we're going to try to play without it and do the best we can with just overwhelming him with physical pressure. Uh, so we'll see how this battle goes. This will be the last battle for the Eternity City Enders in the regular season for Season 2 of the Pokemon Premier League. I uh, had to make this team on Showdown hastily because... I didn't realize that he would be using Showdown and not in-game, so a little bit of needless breeding there, but that's okay. We have everyone here with all their nicknames and everything, so they're here in spirit, and we'll do the best we can, guys. We're going to go for a victory here, and look forward to the battle. All right, guys.